Hi everyone, and welcome to our channel. In this episode, Model Manipulation in VCAR Part 2, I'd like to show you some advanced techniques on how you can change an already existing 3D model. I'm using the model I purchased from Design & Make. It's the same model I used for a previous episode of mine where I incorporated it with a twisted border. You may remember it. Here are the results. We had the original and the manipulated using only vCarve. So let's get started. I open a new session of vCarve, making sure my modeling resolution is set to very high, and I import my model that I've gotten from Design and Make, and I make several copies of it, each on its own level. There's the original, the center section, the right side, the left side, and the sleeve. The original is just for a comparison. The center section, I took my component and slid it over to the right. Didn't change the Y, just slid it over in the X direction to the right. And I drew a vector around it, around the section that I wanted to keep. My next level for the right side, it's the same thing. It's the original component in its original position with a vector drawn just around the right side of the bench. The next level I call the left side. And all I did here was take my original component and flip it horizontally. And of course, drew the appropriate vector around the left side of the bench and the grass. And the last level, which I call sleeve, through the process we're going to wind up having a hole that needs to be filled with some sort of component. And that's what this sleeve is. I took my component that was in the center and just moved it down ever so slightly. I'm going to zoom in to show you where that hole is going to be. So let's take a little closer look at how this really works. We have our center component highlighted and the vector highlighted and we right click on the level and say apply the clipping to it. For our right side, the same process. Make sure your component is visible. Select the vector. Right click on the level and apply the clipping. Same process for the left side. Making sure that that level is selected and visible and choosing the vector. Of course, if you try to apply any of these extra properties without having a vector selected, you'll get an error message, rightfully so. So we just need to click on the vector. Now we can right click and say, apply the clipping. And that little sleeve component that I talk about, there's going to be a little hole. So I click on my component and click on my little vector that I drew. And again, apply the clipping. That's about it for the work. Let's take a look at the end results. This was the original. The couple is sitting on the left hand side of the bench. This is the center. This is the right side. We now have the left side. And that little hole right there at the end of his sleeve. It's a small piece, but if it wasn't there, it would look odd. And of course, when you went to cut it out, your bit would go down. And of course, it would look odd. So let's fill it in. Thank you. 
there's a finished product. If we compare the two, the original, the couple are sitting on the left. The manipulated, the same couple are now sitting on the right. It's not just that I flip the whole model horizontally, I actually move them down. I hope you enjoyed this trip into model manipulation in VCARV. I hope you can do the same thing. Love to see what you can come up with. If you'd like to learn more about the software, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell to be reminded of our new videos. And of course, as always, if you need help, send me an email, mm at mazalik.com. I'll be glad to help. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.